Here's an example of how we can use a system of equations to solve word problems. When you take a quiz like the 3 1 to 3 3 quiz, you're going to have multiple questions that will ask you to take a word problem scenario, write two equations, and then figure out the best way to solve that system. So that's what I'm going to walk you through on this one. You want to read over the problem and figure out what are the unknowns, what are the things that need variables. So we're talking about a, a fruit company that is making gift boxes. And a couple things we know about the gift boxes, we know about the weight of the fruits, and we know about the the money value the monetary value and the question is how many of each fruit should be in each box so the unknowns the things that I need is I need to figure out how many oranges and how many grapefruits grapefruits so you need to assign a variable to those I'm just gonna go X and Y because it's what we're used to you could use any letter you want but it does help to write down what your letters mean it helps the person grading it me and it also helps you as you're trying to organize your information so here are the two things that I'm looking for. I'm looking for the number of oranges, I'm going to call that X, and I'm looking for the number of grapefruits, I'm going to call that Y. If I have two variables, I have to have two equations. I have to have the same number of equations as number of unknowns. So I need to figure out what two things I can write about and make an equation out of it. So if you look back to the problem, I know about two things. I know about weight and I know about money. So I'm going to write an equation for each. Starting with weight, I know each orange weighs half a pound because of what they tell me right here. So 0.5 for every orange. I know that every grapefruit weighs 0.75 of a pound, or 3 quarters of a pound. So 0.75y. And I know the total is 13.25 is pounds. So there is an equation based on the weight of the fruit. I have to write another equation, and that's where the money comes in. I know the value of each fruit. I know that an orange has a value of 75 cents, so 0.75x. I know that a grapefruit has a value of $1.25, so 1.25y. And I know the total value of my gift, gift box is $21. So I've taken all the information and tried to circle it or mark it off as I go to see how I've used it. Now I have a system of equations. Now you have a choice. You can either do a substitution, which means I have to isolate one of the variables and then do, replace it in the other equation, or I can do an elimination, which means I have to get one of the columns, either the x column or the y column, to be opposite, like a 5 and a negative 5, a 10 and a negative 10, so that they cancel, so that they're eliminated. Because these are in standard form, I'm going to go with that, the elimination method. It is best when things are in standard form. So I need to figure out how I can get columns to be opposites. I'm going to work with the 0.5 and the 0.75x. I'm going to look in this column. If I multiply this whole top line by 3, it's going to give me an x that's 1.5 instead of 0.5. If I multiply this bottom line by negative 2, it's going to give me negative 1.5x. So they'll be opposites. So I have to make that adjustment. And here's where you want to reach for your calculator. You want to make sure you're doing your multiplication right and you're adjusting correctly. So I have 1.5x plus 3 times 0.75 is 2.25y. I have to take 13.25 and multiply it by 3. And again, definitely reach for a calculator. Make sure you multiply correctly. You get 39.75. And then I'm going to multiply the entire bottom line by negative 2, giving me negative 1.50x, negative 2.50y, and then take 21 times negative 2, we get negative 42. You know you've been successful in the way you've adjusted if you get a column that eliminates. So we no longer have x's. We're going to work with the rest. We're going to add 2.25y to minus 2.5y, which gives you negative 0.25y. And again, you can use your calculator for that arithmetic. And then you're going to take 39.75 and subtract 42 which is going to give you negative 2.25. Divide by negative 0.25. What you'll notice is when you divide a negative by another negative, you get a positive answer, which is good. If we get a negative answer, we know there's a problem because we can't have a negative fruit. We get 9. What that means is you realize you just found y. So y was the number of grapefruits. That means we're going to have 9 grapefruits.
So there's part of my answer. You can circle it, mark it some way, indicate that you know that's one of the most important pieces of information. Now we need to find the amount of oranges. So I'm going to take my y that is 9, and I'm going to replace it into one of the equations. It does not matter which one. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to put it right here. You could have put it in the bottom line. I have, I'll do up top, 0.5x plus, I have to take 0.75 and multiply it by the 9 that I'm plugging in. I get 6.75 equals 13.25. Subtract 6.75. So 13.25 minus 6.75, I get 6.5. So I have 0.5x equals 6.5, divide by 0.5. I should get an answer that's positive, and I should also get an answer that's a whole number, because I'm, again, not going to have part of a piece of fruit. I get 13. So my answer, I can write it in words. I can write it next to what I have here. My oranges is going to be 13, and my grapefruits is going to be 9. And again, my answer me has a meaning that should be positive, and it should be a whole number. If I end up with something that ends up being negative 9 or negative 13, I know right away that I went wrong. When you do problems like this, these are worth several points. So you want to take your time and make sure you give each piece of information. Write down your variables and what they stand for. Write down your equations. Figure out how to solve your equations. And when you're done, write down what your answer means.